Hello everyone, this is Lolly, and today I want to talk about the cinch binding machine. I've had several um, inquiries as to how I am binding my notebooks, such as my operation game notebook, and you notice the binding right here, and that's what the cinch does. The cinch comes with two different styles. This is a little band here to protect it. It, this it is a square hole versus a round hole. And you see they have square pegs to remind you this is the square hole machine and they have a round hole one as well. Because the um, binding wires, I'll show you the shape, because there are two wires going through every hole that seemed to make sense to me to go ahead and get the square one. So I'm happy with it. Um, when you, you keep this little sliding rule all the way in and I've made a uh, another our, uh, album out of coasters. These are four inches and it's always best to practice on a scrap paper first. So let me get a scrap piece of paper. Okay, I got that. So put that against the little ledge right here and push it all the way back in straight. Okay. Until you see it's even. Make sure that the distance between the edge of the paper and the edge of this ruler seems even because if it's crooked and you see the distance is different then you know you don't have it in there all the way. The other thing I like to look at is on this, you can see where the paper is going to end. It looks like this notch right here might leave half of a hole in there. So what you do is you pull that out and it disengages that punch right there. So you just hold the paper and then pull it all the way down and it does cut through chipboard well too. You can see that it's evenly spaced exactly how I would like to see it happen. Um, if you have a piece of paper that's longer and you want to get that punched, let me show you what you can do for that. Let's say we have a really long piece of paper and you put that in here, right here, and it's all flat and squared off. Oops, let's push that one back in and engage it. Okay, you go ahead and punch those holes. You realize it doesn't go across as far as you want. So you pull this out and on the side there, there's a notch right here. And you want to line that up with the last hole or the second to the last hole, I think it is. Push the key down in place and then stamp it. Lift that little key up. Oops, I forgot to pull out that last peg. You see what happens? Here's a good example. I needed to pull out the last peg to make sure I didn't get a half of a hole there. But that just shows you a good thing that that happens so you can see. Okay, the process. Now, this other thing I want to show you is this does cut through chipboard very well. Um, you can cut through several sheets at once. Oops, we need to pull out that peg again. There you go. Now I'm going to lay them covered down. You can do several sheets at once as long as you get them lined up and you realize you are definitely punching in the tops of the pages. Face down. Now on this one, I have a little pocket. It's going to be a little thicker because I made a side pocket on that. Again, always make sure it's in there square. Let's do three at once. Now you notice this one here is not as long as the others. I mean, it's, it's not as deep, but it's still just as wide. Okay, let me show you a different one here in a minute. Okay. Time to clean out the little rough edges. Okay, let me find one here that's not. Okay, this one here is not as wide as the rest. So in that case, one of the things you can do is to pu push that back in. And there's a thing that says center here. You can put right on the center there, the center of your paper. There you go. And push, remember we had eight pulled out, so I'm gonna do that. And this is a side pocket again, but I'm going to do that that way. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll pause the video while I'm punching the rest of these so you don't have to sit here and get bored. Okay, they're all punched now. Actually, you know that one I did as a test, I think I just might round the corners and use that in my notebook. Haha. -ha. Let's take advantage of that scrap paper that turned out okay. Just shove that in there somewhere. Okay, so that's my notebook, my album. Now the next thing is I need to count my holes and I've got four or five. I've got seven holes here, so I need seven on this. This is the binding wire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to snip off right at that junction right there. 
and you can see this little end sticking out. I cut those off as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're good. And this tells you it's a one inch binding wire. So on the back here, you want this set to one. Okay, in the meantime, though, we've got to go ahead and attach all this. So we take these little square ends here, put them on the pegs, and we've got to thread all these through. But what we want to do is take that back one, flip it over like that, and bind it that way. Okay, so that's, that's the order they're going in. Oops, these ones I did not push all the way through. You see what happens there? So those are rejects. Always have to make sure you push those through as far as you can. Hmm, I can see some of these are not in there correctly, so let me make sure. Okay, front, 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 there we go. I had some facing forward and some facing backwards, so let's make sure these are all correct. There we go. One thing we can do with these, you see some of mine have short papers in there, would be to trim this off and repunch them and just make them shorter papers. And I think I might just want to do that, but first, let me get this on there. Where's my little cutter here? Let's just trim that end off there, re-round that, and the same for this one. We want to reuse our papers and not throw them away. This is still set up the way I had it, so let me slide this over just to, so I can move my machine and get prepared here. Now, it's, is it all the way in? I think so this time. Let's see. Yes. And... Yes. Okay, back to where we were. Let's put that back on there. Okay, and let's add that and that one. So you just keep adding these on until you get them all on there. And you could do more than one or two at a time. I'm just making sure they're all facing forward because I got kind of confused in my application process here. Okay, and these ones are not as wide, so you just pick where you want that. I'm going to put that to the right. Okay, like this one's not that wide. I'll put that one to the left. And that. Okay, so now we have them all on here. We're going to turn this machine around, make sure that's set to one inch, and you put both of these ends like this flat against the back of the machine. Okay flat against the back of the machine so they're both touching and then just pull that handle down move your hands out of the way and they're sealed now you flip that back cover back around and the reason we did the back cover to the front cover is now all this weird binding is in the middle okay that's how that goes so that's a really uh, easy way to show you just how the cinch works I hope you enjoy that you can leave me any comments about any questions you have thanks so much for watching